Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well, we got a great little hover effect for you today. We've got three little sort of icon type buttons here when I hover over one of them. It's going to grow, change colour, expand and reveal some text. Really easy to do. There's no coding involved in this today. We're going to use just the inbuilt features of the Divi theme itself. And that's a great little eye-catching feature to have on your site. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder so I can build on the front end. Great. Once loaded, let's go down where we want to work. I've got a section here, the blue tab. Inside, I've got several rows, the green tab. I'll leave that top one in there. It's just got the title in there. Below, I've got a few more, and I'm just going to delete these. And we'll start from scratch. Okay, well let's add a new row. Little green button to add a row here. I'm going to use a single column for mine. Obviously you use whatever works for you. Divi comes as standard with all these light grey modules, plenty enough to build just about any site. I'm going to use a simple text module for this today. There it is right there. And it's kind of hard to see on that background there. I'll lighten up that text so you can see it. Let's just quickly do that. I'm going to go to design text. Uh, let's make it white in color. There we go. You can see it a little bit better that way. Great. Well, to do this today, I'm going to use what they call an alt code to add a little icon here. You can use a blurb module to do this also if you wanted to, but let's use a little alt code for this today. Right in front of that where it says your, I want to add a little sort of right hand type arrow. So let's go down to our text in our content here. There's where our text is. I'm going to leave that generic in there because I really don't have any more text to put in there. Let's take a little bit of, bit of it away. In the on design there perhaps. There we go, a little less text there. And right at the beginning, I'm going to put my cursor there. Now I'm going to go grab an alt code and I'll put this link below the video. Here's a page where you can find some alt codes. I want a little arrow right here. I've already got mine highlighted there. And so if I hold down the alt key and press 16, we should have a little arrow there. So I'm going to hold down the alt key and hit 1-6 on the keyboard. And there we have a little arrow. And I can't see it up there. Let's just select it. And let's make it white in color. There we go. Fantastic. Great. Now let's find a background color for our box. I'm going to roll down the background. Of course you can link each of these buttons or each of these text modules to somewhere by putting a link in here if you want to. Always best practice, if you're linking to your own site, leave it in the same window. If you're linking off-site to somebody else's site, open it in a new tab, that way your site will stay open. Okay, well let's add a little background color to this so we can see it on top of our image there. I guess I'm gonna use the same pink color as I've been using throughout this site. I've got a little color picker up here. Let's grab this color. And I'll just paste that hex code in there. Okay, that's great. Same sort of pink colors we've been using there. Right, well, I want to put a bit of space that side and a bit of space this side. So our little arrow there is in the middle and I don't want to see any of this other text. So let's start decorating this. I'm going to go to the design tab. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make it the size I want. Now there's a few things I need to do here. I'm going to go over to my advanced tab before I do this because I'm going to shrink this down in size. I don't want to see any of this text that's spilling out of it. So I've gone over to the advanced tab. I'm going to go down to visibility. I'm going to go down to horizontal and vertical overflow. Each of these I'm going to turn to hidden. That way anything that falls out the side of our text module like this text when we shrink it up will not be seen. Great. Well, let's go back to our design tab now and actually make it the size we want it. I'm going to go down to sizing and width. Let's try putting in, say, 40 pixels, 40px. OK, well, that's a little bit wider. And of course, we've got all this down here. We'll fix that in a minute with height. Let's take that to 30. I think 40 is a little bit too much. 
yeah, that looks more like it. It may look crazy at the moment, but you'll see what's going on when I put the height in. Let's go down to our height, just down below. We'll make that 30 pixels also, so we should have a square. There we go. And we've got a little square there. But I don't want to see that yo, or the first part of you. I just want to see the little arrow there, and I want that little arrow to be in the, the middle. So to make that happen, let's roll this up here so you can, I can zoom in and you can see a little bit better. Still on the design tab. I'm going to close up sizing and we'll go down to spacing below. I'm going to put a bit of padding on the left hand side until that left hand side of the arrow is in the middle. So here's our padding, here's our left hand side. Start incrementing up and you can see that arrow coming across. Get it to Oh, that's almost there, and that U, that U or the Y has disappeared. You could always put more space between the arrow and the U there. Okay, well, it's not quite central. I want it sort of more in the middle. It's slightly high there. So let's put a little bit of padding just on the top, and again, I'm just going to use these little arrows to increment, and you can see it moving down. Yeah, about there. That's pretty good. Two pixels. Great. Well, that's done that, but of course, when we hover over it, I want to see all of the writing. I want it to expand when they put their mouse over that little arrow there. So still on design, we can go back into our sizing again, where we put the width in there. Now, this is common to all Divi modules. If you hover over the dark writing, you'll see a little set of icons appear. If there's a little arrow there, we can set a hover state. So go to the thing that you want to affect, in our case, the width. You want to make sure you're on the thing that you want to affect. Hit the little arrow. It'll bring up two little boxes. Desktop state, when your mouse is not on it, when they're not hovering over it. And a hover state, obviously, when their mouse is on it. When they hover on it, I want it to be 100% of its width. I want it to show all the text there. So instead of a pixel value in there, I'm going to put 100 and the percentage sign. And as you can see, that's shot out to reveal all of that text. Now, I don't like it finishing just as it is there, butted up against the side. So I'm going to put the same amount of padding on the right-hand side as I had on the left. So when we're not hovering over it, it's going to be that big. When we are, it's that big. Let's just adjust that padding there. And we'll do that back in our spacing here. And all I've got to do to do this is actually hit this chain, hit this chain actually, and it'll do the opposite side. So if I hit this chain, it gives us 10% padding that side. Let's make sure, or 10 picks padding that side, let's make sure it's still going to work properly when we hover over it. Yeah, it's okay. We can't see that first letter. Like I say, you could go back into your text here and just put another little space there before your little arrow. You could add another extra space if you're why is showing up where you don't want it there. In fact, I might do that anyway because it's kind of close, isn't it? So I'm going to put my cursor just by the Y there and just scoot it across a bit till I'm happy with it. Maybe a little bit more. That works fine. Remember, we've still got our hover state up. And I think when we hover over it like that, let's have that background color change from a pink to perhaps a purple. So we can go back into our content where we are at the moment shut up the text box, go to background, and we'll do exactly the same. If we hover over up the dark writing there, get the little icons up, hit the little hover state there. When we hover over it, let's have it perhaps purple in color. Great. Make sure it's going to look good. Go back to desktop state. There we are. Now the time it get, takes to get from desktop hover state with Divi for default is 300 milliseconds which is pretty quick it's just under a third of a second I'm going to slow mine down just for a little bit of drama to do that just go over to your advanced over here go down to transitions right here and let's make ours fairly slow let's make it two seconds so I'm going to just type in 2000 milliseconds which is two seconds don't want any delay want it to happen as soon as they put their mouse on it my transition speed curve I like to use for hover effects is ease in out. These are all kind of similar. They'll do different things in different situations to check them out. For most of my hover effects though, I like the ease in, ease out. Great. Well, let's save that. 
and I want more than one button. So obviously the easiest way to do this is duplicate it. I'm actually going to duplicate the whole row, the green tab for the row here. Let's du duplicate anything. Just hit the two little squares there. That's for the section. That's the row. And that's for the module. I'm going to use the little row there. And let's repeat this maybe three or four times. So we've got four little buttons. And obviously you're going to want to change your text within each of those. Just go in, change whatever text you want in there. Great. So if we've done this all correctly now, this should work. So let's hit the little purple button there. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And let's exit the visual builder. There we go, there's our little hero section. When I go down and hover on one of these buttons, it should expand, change color over a two second period. There we go, it's shooting the text out and changing color for us. It'll let it go and it'll hover back or ease back, I should say. We're using ease in, ease out. And that's a nice little feature to have on your site if you want to display an image, but you don't want it to be messed up with some text. This is a great idea for adding text just when people need to see it. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. Don't forget, I'll put the alt code webpage link down below there. That's a nice little feature. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.